There was once a day when Elon Musk had nothing. Richard Branson didn't live on an island. Steve Jobs didn't even know what a computer was. Martin Luther King, before he had his dream. Um, Michael Phelps couldn't swim. And Neil Armstrong, there was once a day when he first looked up and saw the moon for the very first time. Now, what changed with all these people to make them some of the most successful people in the world in the area of which they focused? I'm Rowan, I'm from Your Life Designed. The answer is they all rode the cyclone of success. Cheesy, I know, cheesy name, but I, I created that just to um, have something to remember. Now, what is this cyclone of success? It's a, basically a three-part process that we all go through every single day. But it's most important with the big decisions in our life, the change makers and the life changes. Now, it's very easy to get caught up in our little comfort zone and it's all cushy and it's warm and we don't want to leave it and we don't want to make any progress. And this is when it actually turns into the fountain of failure. Another cheesy name, sorry. But that is a downward spiral. So let's focus on the cyclone of success, the upward spiral of success. It all starts with belief. Now, you may have seen my previous YouTube clip talking about beliefs. Uh, if not, go and check it out. But in, in summary, our beliefs are from a long history of the absorption of information from our external world. We're constantly taking on information, whether it's from other people's opinions or from other people's successes or failures or the news or videos on social media or um, you know, wherever it is, we, we take on all this information. Now, this information goes to form our beliefs, which then informs our decisions day to day. I'll give you some examples. For example, um, my own, some of my own um, limiting beliefs that I no longer harbor are, or were, I'm stuck in the system, or um, you know, I'm not good enough to do this certain something, or I could never make a million dollars. On the other hand, some of my self-expanding beliefs that I focus on are things like, you know, I have the awareness to, um, to learn from my mistakes and I'm a doer and I'm in control of my own destiny. Next phase in the cyclone is uh, once we have our beliefs, which we all have, is uh, the action that we take. Oh, hold the phone. Before I jump into action, I just want to tell you a quick story about a guy called Ben Hogan. Back in 19... 48, 49, he was an awesome golf player. He won a couple of PGA tournaments and he was PGA player of the year. But then on one foggy Texas night, he was driving along and he got hit head on by a bus. Now he broke just about every bone that's important to a golfer. His doctors said to him, well, they had the belief that he was never gonna, possibly never gonna walk again and certainly never gonna um, play competitive golf again. But Ben Hogan didn't take their beliefs as his own. He formed his own belief system. He knew that he could get back on if he believed in himself, and that's exactly what he did. Within a year, he won the US Open, and within three years, he won five out of the six major tournaments. Talk about taking your beliefs and owning it. Good on you, Ben. All right, now, back to action. Sorry, where was I? Now, action. Some of the actions we take are reactions. However, most of our actions that we take are, are born from our beliefs and the questions we ask ourselves: um, could can i work it out along the way will i ever find anyone like them um, do i have the skills do i have the ability um, all these sorts of questions that we ask ourselves if these questions are backed up by self-expanding you know positive beliefs then that will result in positive actions strong actions actions that we put effort into however if we back these questions up with self-limiting beliefs, then you, you can imagine the sort of results you can expect from the actions you take. They're gonna be disappointing. So results, that leads me on to the next part. Now results, as you can imagine, if you go into taking an action and you, that's backed up by a strong belief, a belief in your abilities, a belief in yourself, then you're gonna put in the, the good action and get a good result. Even if it's not the result you were looking for, you're gonna learn from it. Uh, as Eric Worre says, that one of my favorite quotes from him is, um, what does he say? He says, there's no good experiences and there's no bad experiences, just learning experiences. The failures we make are just stepping stones to success. I'm sure you've heard all that before. Now, if we take an action based on a pretty weak belief, then we're gonna 
um, put not put, probably not put much effort into that action and we're going to get a, a disappointing result. So that result feeds back into our belief and we start the downward spiral. Uh, we have less of a belief in ourselves, so we take less of an action. So then we have get less of a result and even less of a belief in the future. It's just a continuous cycle down or on the positive side, it can be the cyclone of success in the upward motion. Now, going back to those people I mentioned a second ago, Elon Musk, you know, would he have achieved half of what he's achieved if he didn't have such a strong belief in himself? Would Steve Jobs have invented these, you know, um, amazing digital products that we see in the, everywhere in the world today if he didn't take massive action and work his guts out in his parents' garage for however long he did? Would um, Michael Phelps have a ton of gold medals hanging around his neck if he didn't see the results that he was seeing in the pool? I dare say none of that would have happened. These people believed in themselves. They took action and they saw results which reinforced their belief. They rode the cyclone of success. Cheesy, I know, I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this. Please see that it's, um, it's, it all starts in your belief, your belief of yourself. You only get one shot at this. So please don't be servant to limiting beliefs harness and grab the reins of those self-expanding beliefs and ride the wave. Hope you got something out of it. If so, subscribe to the channel and uh, check out the Facebook page. I'll catch you again soon. Cheers. Bye.